In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how easy it is to build an external RAID. Of course, you can always buy an external RAID if you don't feel comfortable building your own. But generally, it's quite a bit cheaper to build your own external hard drive enclosures. And if something does happen to go wrong, you might be able to fix the problem yourself, since you assembled the enclosure and you know how it works. I'm going to be showing you how to build a RAID 5. But really, what I'm going to show you is essentially how you would assemble any external RAID. The difference only being the external RAID enclosure and the number of hard drives that you might need depending on what type of RAID you're looking to build. A RAID 5 requires at least three hard drives to function. And with three drives, one drive can fail and our data will still be safe as long as none of the other drives fail before we have had a chance to rebuild the RAID. This makes RAID 5 a particularly good mix between capacity, performance, and data redundancy. In building this RAID 5, I'm going to use a 4-bay external RAID enclosure that has an internal hardware RAID controller. And I'm also going to use four 4 terabyte drives. This configuration will give me a total capacity of 12 terabytes of usable space, with 4 terabytes of our space being reserved to make our data redundant in case of a drive failure. It can be a good idea to buy a fifth extra hard drive to have on hand in case of a drive failure. Because to rebuild a RAID, you'll need a matching drive, and if a drive doesn't fail for several years, it might be difficult to find a replacement drive that matches your originals. Our first step is simply to put the hard drives into the drive bays. I find that sometimes spending a little more on a RAID enclosure can save you quite a bit of time and frustration in assembly. This particular RAID that I'm building can be assembled without tools, which is ideal for a quick setup. Once the drives have been inserted into the trays and then back into the case, the next step is to set up the RAID enclosure to function as a RAID 5. Depending on which case you have, you might do this with switches or through a menu. With this case, we have a set of switches on the back that I'll use to set up the RAID 5. I simply look at the instructions and then set the switches to match the settings for RAID 5. And that's it. That completes the assembly of our RAID. The final thing I'll do is plug in the RAID, attach it to my computer, and format it. This particular RAID also came with software to help me manage the RAID on my system. So of course, I'll install that as well, and use it to monitor the drives and make sure that everything is operating properly. Just a note, make sure that if you are using larger capacity drives, such as the 4 terabyte drives that I used in this tutorial, that you make sure both your computer and your external drive enclosure supports them. Your RAID assembly will most likely be different from mine depending on what external enclosure you purchase, but hopefully this tutorial gives you an introduction to how easy it can be to build your own RAID.